Hi, my name is Greta Zewi. Um, I'm a senior at Duquesne University and I'm studying music technology. Hi, my name is Heather Dyes. I am a live sound engineer and stagehand. Hi, my name is Carolyn Slothauer. I'm a touring front of house engineer from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My name is Danon Johnson. I'm a sophomore sound recording major at Duquesne University and I'm the owner of Guffy Cam Studios. I'm a producer and live in studio sound engineer. Hello, my name is Sophie Ryder. I'm 21 years old and I'm currently in my last trimester of a Bachelor of Audio degree and I study at SA Institute in Byron Bay, Australia. I am a production manager at a local church where I get to run live sound and I oversee the live stream. I started, I got my uh, sound engineering certificate from a local community college. I founded my record label, Flaming Heart Records, um, in March last year and I have a passion and focus for audio mixing, mastering and music production. As far as misogyny in the industry, you know, obviously it happens. Most of what I come across is people who don't expect me to know what I'm doing. Um, and then I have to prove myself to them. I'm going to do my job, I'm going to do it well, and whether or not you expect me to doesn't really matter. To me, being a female in audio is all about being that figure that I didn't have to look up to when I was getting started. It's incredibly hard to envision yourself doing something when no one that looks like you's done it. And while there are females in this industry, the unfortunate reality is they almost never see the spotlight, and I think this next generation is here to change that. I suffer a lot, and I think a lot of us do, uh, with imposter syndrome, and it's been a challenge to fight through that, but it has been incredibly rewarding. No matter how much you think you don't belong here, no matter how little you think you know, put your name out there. If I had any advice thus far for other upcoming women in the audio industry, it would honestly just be to surround yourself with good people. If you can find like even just one or two um, fellow audio engineers or mentors that can encourage you and care about your success and will push you to really just do your best, then that's like a huge thing. Just give it a shot. I know that it can be very scary um, trying to get into a very male dominated industry but you just have to have confidence and know your worth and know that you can in fact do what all the other guys are doing. I made a good impression and that is my biggest piece of advice is to put your name out there, let people recognize you and let them recognize you for the right things. Show up on time, um, do a good job, ask questions when you need to ask questions, um, be honest about what you know and what you don't know and be eager. You're going to be told no so many times before you're given a yes. Never let this discourage you. You know the passion you have for what you do, and you know the work you've put into what you do. No matter what one may think of you, never let this stop you. My advice for anyone entering the audio industry um, is to know that you're never going to know everything. Nobody knows everything. There's so much to know. You have to be really adaptable. Um, so don't let an experience or not knowing something discourage you because it happens to all of us and you know you can always just learn that thing and do better next time. It's really cool actually since I started my label um, and you know making an Instagram account for it just seeing the amount of pages that are dedicated to women in the industry is extremely inspiring and motivational and like I had no idea that there was such a huge like uh, community. It's also really helpful to have other engineers to call, you know, in times of stress or if you have a tech issue or a social issue or you come across a difficult situation, having other people in the industry that you know you can call is really, really important. Believe in yourself. Um, if you love this, keep doing it. Uh, it can be slow going, um, it, especially with COVID and everything, the, the work has can dry up. You might not get many offers, but keep trucking. The superwoman pose is key. We know who we are. So when you need that extra boost of, I got this, the superwoman pose is my go-to. You never know what opportunities are going to um, present themselves to you. Like, 
I never in a million years would think that my work placement at the youth centre would lead me to running my own mini festival. Just be passionate about what you do and that's what really, really counts. That would be my one piece of advice. Just keep on looking out for good people and really try and connect with them if you do find them. You know, follow your heart. Who cares what anyone says? If you love it, you do it. And that's it. That's really all that matters. So be you, work hard, you belong here, enjoy it.